Dears, next important thing we are going to study is about enzyme. Okay, biochemistry, the enzyme is very important topic. As you all know, all enzymes are protein. You are hearing from the lower class, all enzymes are protein. But all enzymes are protein except there is an enzyme called ribozyme. An enzyme called ribozyme. See, ribozymes are RNA. No, they are not protein. They are RNA with the catalyst activity. RNA with the catalyst activity. So ribozymes are RNA with the catalyst, catalyst activity. Now, see, the examples of ribozymes are example of ribozyme. Best example is there is a ribosome called peptidyl transferase. Peptidyl transferase. Okay. So it can be 23 S Stuttgart urine or and 28 is RRNA. 28 is RRNA. RRNA will represent RRNA. So remember all enzymes are protein except what? Ribozyme. The example is peptidyl transferase. Okay. Now enzyme can be classified. Enzyme can be classified into simple and complex. So enzyme can be classified into Simple and complex. Simple means they doesn't have no coenzyme or cofactor. No coenzyme or cofactor present. Here they have coenzyme or cofactor. We'll see, we'll see the examples. Before that, see what is a coenzyme? like vitamin organic thing right vitamin cofactor will be like inorganic that is like minerals clear now we will see see there is something called as hollow enzyme you heard about hollow enzyme hollow enzyme means the enzyme is having both protein part protein part and non protein part Protein part and no protein part. So protein part of an hollow enzyme we call as apo enzyme. Apo enzyme. And the non-protein part can be coenzyme or cofactor. Coenzyme or cofactor. Clear? So this is how the enzyme is classified. Now we will see the important coenzyme of the enzyme okay so there is an enzyme known as kinase for kinase the coenzyme is ATP or GTP okay now for dehydrogenase for dehydrogenase it will be NAD plus or FAD plus NAD plus or FAD plus now we have carboxylase Simple example, carboxylase, it will be B7, vitamin B7, remember. But for decarboxylation, we have B6. Decarboxylation, we have vitamin B6. There is something known as transketolase. For transketolase, what is the coenzyme? Vitamin B1. Vitamin B1. So these are some examples. And for BCKD, transgenic ketoacid dehydrogen, here also vitamin B1. So they are loads, so I just gave the important one. Now some examples of cofactors, that is the inorganic thing. Cofactors. See, for, for car, there is an enzyme called carbonic anhydrase. Carbonic anhydrase. Their cofactor is zinc, the mineral zinc. Then we have xanthine oxidase, you know, in the gout disease, uric acid formation. Xanthine oxidase. Here the cofactor is molybdenum. Molybdenum. Now we have succinate dehydrogenase. Succinate in the Krebs cycle. 
here the cofactor is iron then we have lysyl oxidase lysyl oxidase or tyrosine tyrosinase or tyrosine kinase here the cofactor is copper in the cofactor is the co the mineral copper okay so these are some very popular examples that are lot of coenzyme and cofactor now we will see there are some classification or classes of enzyme classification or classes of enzyme so what are the different classes of enzyme classes i'm briefly describing the important things we have first class like oxido reductases oxido reductases see in mcq they usually used to confuse you so they include the example include oxidase peroxidase so there is one important enzyme here that is dehydrogenase so you know peroxidase right this oxidase oxygenase and dehydrogenase see you never think that dehydrogenase comes under oxido reductase you will think that dehydrogenase they will do dehydrogenation but they comes under what oxido reductase okay and peroxidase also so peroxidase also comes under here so oxidase oxygenase dehydrogenase and peroxidase now second class is transferase from the word only they transfer a group transferase so they transfer a group example include that kinase you know they will transfer what one phosphorus group then we have keto transferase and methyl methyl transferase so they will transfer that that is called what transferase group now the next group is hydrolase next group is hydrolase it means they will break something in the presence of water in the presence of water example include our arginase the urea cycle arginase is very good example they used to us it then we have lipase lipase amylase nucleosidase lipase amylase nucleosidase and proteins and proteins so these all examples comes under what hydrolase now the next class is ligase ligase means breaking the molecule breaking big molecule into small next class is ligase breaking big molecule into small so the enzyme coming under ligases are arginosuccinase again in the uh, urea cycle arginosuccinase the other examples are carbonic anhydrase forming carbonic acid right carbonic anhydrase and aldolase b and aldolase b so these are the other examples of ligase now we have the next class which is called isomerase from the word only they helps in what isomerization next class is isomerase the examples include epimerase mutase racemerase this all comes under what isomerase so these are the big major classes of the enzyme and their example clear so you have to know this briefly they are will be asked so just remember these are the example okay